Most lawmakers and Governor Steve Bullock showed positivity on what they accomplished during the 87-day legislative session that ended last week. But as Mike Dennison reports, a split in the Republican Party between conservatives and moderates controlled the outcome of many key issues. From Medicaid expansion to $80 million of infrastructure bonding to a bed tax increase to fund historical museums, a coalition of Democrats and moderate Republicans banded together this session to form the majority that passed some major legislation. But on many of those votes, Republican leaders who come from the party's conservative bloc voted no. In the Senate, leaders said that's how the process works and that they realize the GOP has a diverse membership. Very few people that get everything they want here, if any. And that's just part of the process, and that's how it's designed. The thought process was to leave this session so that we're all uh, getting along, and when we disagree, we shake hands and move on and call it a day. But in the House last Thursday, GOP leaders had some different thoughts on the matter. Majority Leader Brad Sheeta of Missoula called Republicans two separate minorities in the legislature and chastised those who teamed up with Democrats to vote for higher taxes. Montanans, I believe we could have done more. Despite, despite there being 58 Republicans in this chamber, we are not the majority. Republican House leadership also essentially removed a veteran lawmaker from a key fiscal committee that she had served on for several sessions in the wake of her votes with the moderates on several big bills. That lawmaker, House Appropriations Committee Chair Nancy Balance of Hamilton, objected to being replaced on the panel by a freshman legislator. This is not the way to run this legislature, and this sends a very poor message to our daughters, to our granddaughters, and to every schoolgirl in this state. And it actually does harm to our school boys as well. Because what message is it sending to them? That they don't need the experience, all they have to do is be a man. Republican leadership also made a last minute power play to change legislative rules to give them unprecedented control over interim committees in the next year. But Democratic Senate Leader John Sesso of Butte saw a way to block it by moving to adjourn the session Thursday afternoon. That move succeeded by a single vote, 25 to 24, with all 20 Senate Democrats in favor and five Republicans. Reporting from Helena, Mike Dennison, MTN News.